welcome guys to another episode on the extra mile my name is alex and look at this beautiful mod car that i've uh, organized for today um, this mod has been recently updated last sunday to be precise uh, this is the uh, need for speed tournament mod and it includes uh, this lovely diablo vt which is uh, the all-wheel drive version of the diablo with 492 horses and it also includes the Ferrari 512TR, which is the um, the car that came after the Testarossa, uh, but it still looks similar to the Testarossa. And today, as we always do, we will drive these lovely mod cars um, against a few other road cars here in Assetto Corsa and see how they will compare. But before we do so, let's take Oh, look at that! There's a lovely little toy model of the Diablo here behind the driver's seat. <laughs> That's awesome. I am not sure that many people will ever get to see that. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, we can see that even the door locks here are modeled. Those are not just textures. Um, the door line here is modeled, so those are really, really cool details. Um, Oh, I love this. I love this huge rear wheels. Um, this is really, really well done. Let's see how far we can get back here. I can't go any further because I'm limited by my cable here. But yeah, beautiful mod. Kudos to the creators. Everything is really well done. Uh, the interior is beautiful as well. Um, it uses the sounds of the Lamborghini Countach, um, which we already have from Kunos officially. And yeah, now let's see what kind of cars we will be racing against today. Lovely day for racing. Oh man, it looks so sweet. All right, I can already hear the other cars. There they come. Let's see who's first. That probably is the Alfa Romeo Quadrofolio, the Giulia, really pretty. And that's the Ferrari 512TR already. We have the GTO behind, actually, 911 Carrera S, the lovely Alfa Stradale, M3, Countach, Maserati, BMW M1 and the Lotus. Um, Evora S. So let's uh, let's do this, guys. All right, here you can take another look at the cars that we will be racing against. A wild mix of cars. All right, here we go. As always, we will take it a little bit easy at the start don't want to take advantage of this confusion that the AI cars have. Okay, we can slowly start to overtake. <laughs> Going a bit sideways here. So this is an all-wheel drive Diablo, but um, it is a rear bias all-wheel drive. So we should get a bit of oversteer rather than understeer. And we do. Not quite enough power to get all four wheels spinning. But we can kick the tail out a little bit under braking, which is nice. <laughs> 
Porsche is fighting back there. All right, first time on the straight. Let's see what's what here. M3 doesn't stand a chance. The daddy of this car, Kuntaj, does not stand a chance, a chance either. <laughs> oh man, this is a quick car. Let's see. 300 kilometers an hour already. Ooh, brake. Don't want to crash into the lovely GTO. relatively heavy car it's not exactly nimble but that being said it's not too bad turning is pretty good it's balanced pretty well overtaking the GTO interestingly enough the GTO doesn't seem to be able to keep up with the 512 TR which we have in front right now. I would not have guessed that. Ooh. Come on, there we go. I think we only have two cars in front. Lovely. A little bit of understeer because I went too fast into that corner. <laughs> okay, that line was not great. <laughs> The Countach sounds work pretty well for this car, but I still wish it would be a bit more, I don't know, aggressive. But what can you do? Oh yes, there was a little bit of understeer. Come on, let's get that 512TR. to fifth gear which is pretty long let's take advantage of the slipstream for as long as we can there you go <laughs> Hard on the brakes.
All right, here we go. We had a little bit of a crash there. So we did not manage to catch that alpha, but that was pretty sweet. Look at all those lovely details here. Every little thing is modeled. Every little switch is modeled. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I can highly recommend you guys to check this mod out. I will take a last look at it now from the outside. Actually, look at that. Just saw that while I was getting out. Even that is modeled here inside the door. It's really beautiful, guys. Um, yes, I will have to drive the other car, the other car in this mod as well, the 512TR again. Um, I think um, that should be a bit more lively at the limit because it's a rear wheel drive and not all wheel drive. Um, but this is a really, really beautiful mod. Um, kudos again to the creators of this mod. This is brilliant work. By the way, you can, uh, as always, find the download link for this mod in the description. And um, I hope you enjoy this mod as much as I did. Um, yeah, and I also hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.